Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim and today I want to continue the excitement we generated last time with the introduction of our Tetrix Prism robotic controller by talking to you about the Tetrix Prism programming guide. This big guide that we showed to you in our first uh, video with Paul where we introduced the Prism. Uh, one of the reasons that we want to talk to you about that today is because we want to create an extra resource. We know a lot of people uh, learn uh, just fine by going through a printed guide, but for those that prefer more of the video type of experience, with a lot of people do need these days, we wanted to create a video series that walks you through each one of the activities that we give you in the programming guide. So I want to kind of set the stage for that. We've got 15 activities in this programming guide, 14 that are directed toward programming, one that's directed toward actually building a robot, and all of this is around these 14 programming activities around working with the Arduino IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, and the PRISM hardware so that you really kind of understand how they work together and, and allow you to really take advantage from the software with the hardware. So that's the goal of the, these uh, videos and the activities in the printer guide. So as we do that, we want we thought it would be really kind of beneficial to kind of give everybody a, a visual walkthrough. So a couple of things. Number one, I want to make sure that everybody understands that this is uh, cross-platform software. We, we mentioned that in the earlier video, but I want to reinforce that. You can work on it with a Mac. You can work on it with a Windows PC. Uh, you can work with it in the Linux environment. So um, that's a really good thing. It is open source. It's free to download. So that's a really uh, good thing. Um, it is made to work specifically with the Tetrix Max uh, a building system. And you can either work with it, it with the dual platform uh, building system that's uh, RC and programmable or strictly with the programmable set. So that's the hardware set that it's made specifically to work with. Um, I, one thing I do want to make sure that everybody understands what it is not is a really uh, comprehensive or meant to be um, start to finish ultimate resource programming guide on a C language. It's not meant to be that way. It's meant to show this through examples, uh, a quick and easy way to get started with the, the C type language that the Arduino is and how it really works together with the hardware. So that's what it's really for. Uh, I do want to make sure everybody understands that there is some prep work involved. You're going to need to make sure that you download the software, get that installed on your computer for whichever kind of computer you want to work with. You're going to need to download the Prism library that we made specifically as an add-in. And you can find those by going to www.tetrixrobotics.com forward slash prism downloads. That's P-R-I-Z-M downloads, all one word. Uh, there's uh, those resources there as well as uh, uh, the ability to download the quick start guide, actual programming guide. It's a really good resource to kind of bookmark to make sure you can go back and do that. You're going to need to obviously have a set available or the prism by itself, charge battery, uh, USB cable, those kind of things. You're going to need to gather those up, and then we'll be able to walk through these um, these activities. I do want to go ahead and tell everybody as well, the activities are progressive, so that it really, although you could jump around if you wanted to, it's probably going to be a good idea to kind of go through them in sequence. There's five getting started activities, and then nine additional activities around the task bot, PRISM uh, task bot that we... <laughs> Uh, uh, designed specifically to work with um, the PRISM in this programming guide. And you want to do those one right after the other because each one is going to kind of build on what you did before. There are about eight to nine parts of each activity, five getting started, um, like I said, and there's an intro to each one. There's the parts that you needed. I'll tell you about uh, what you need to get together around and, and get uh, all collected together so you could do each activity. There's something called opening the sketch in the Arduino environment. Um, they call the program sketches. So there's something that referenced that. We've got something called building the knowledge base where we try and really expand and give you uh, uh, glimpses and, and point out certain aspects of the environment that you'll need to know uh, either with working with PRISM or any kind of a robotic platform in that C-type environment. 
There's a, an act, a, a section called executing the code where we actually download that to the prism and, and make it work. There's a section called moving forward where we try and really highlight the learning. Um, we want you to really get from each of those activities as far as how it relates to the hardware and the, and the coding environment. We try and give real world uh, connections. We try and give STEM connections. And then one of the really fun things we do is we try and, and then open it up a little bit and it lets you hack the code so you can um, expand on what you just learned and try and explore new things on yourself. So that kind of gives everything kind of uh, some context for you. Um, hopefully you'll be able to um, gather all this up. I, I think I did say that you need to have a charge battery or USB cable, the building set. If you bring that all together, then we can begin to uh, explore all this in a, in a brand new uh, journey and I hope you're gonna have fun with this. And I know you're gonna be able to do like we always say, we're gonna um, build some robots, we're gonna have some fun, and then we're gonna come back and do some more. So let's get started.